is it that you really want to achieve in your life? What is it that you truly want? You have infinite potential. It's about unlocking it. Hi, my name is Christian Simpson. I want to share with you a message about your success. This is the time of year where a lot of people begin to think about the results they're getting in their lives. Christmas and New Year, for some reason, just brings out a really reflective mode in a lot of people. When they consider the year that's just gone by and all the things that they've achieved, and maybe they give a lot of thought to the things that they hope to achieve and perhaps didn't. It also brings them to think about the year that's about to come, 2010. What is it they'd like to achieve in that year? What are their goals? What are their aspirations? Are they living on purpose? Do they have a vision for what it is they want to create in their life? The reason for me wanting to speak to you is because I've been working in the field of human potential for nearly two decades now. I work with some of Europe's top executives and I've worked with some of the world's largest organisations in helping change their performance through the behaviours and skills of their leaders. But what's that got to do with you? Well, my life changed dramatically when I became exposed to information that I'd never been exposed for through our traditional uh, adult and business education curriculums. Information that was based on the experience of the most powerful and successful people that had ever lived. And ultimately, I found this information to be fascinating because I was always thought that IQ was the primary source and the primary, um, primary understanding of what created human performance. And what amazed me was that actually IQ, our intellectual intelligence, is responsible on average for 6% of our of our success. There are broader intelligences that create our success, but so very few people are aware of that, and even less have the opportunity to develop it. So I want to share with some incredible information with you that I've found from my many years of experience of working with some of uh, Europe's top leaders, and also from my own research into the field of human potential. And I can promise you this, if you can really keep an open mind, and that's the key question. If you're willing to accept ideas that might actually oppose some of your most cherished beliefs, you might just find that this information can start to change things in you and start to change your thinking. Because if you start to change your thinking, that's when everything else starts to change. That's when your results start to shift. Now I'm going to give, out a, I'm going to give a free teleseminar on this information. It's called The Science of Success, The IQ Myth. I'd love for you to join me and get exposed to this information. And I'll also share some information about how you can start to develop these intelligences that are inherent within you to start really creating the change that you want in your life. If that's something that you intend for your life, then please join me on the seminar with the details of which you're about to follow. Thanks for listening.